everybody, it's me Trish and I'm here to take you with us on our journey to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. This family vacation took place last Christmas on December 23, 24, and 25, 2023 for my 18th birthday. Here we did a stopover and looked at some really cute souvenirs. We heard that it snowed on the Smoky Mountains at this time of the year so we were excited to go. I planned the itinerary and the first stop we had is the Skybridge Gatlinburg. I figured the lines would be long if I bought tickets on site, so I got them from their website fast and easy. I'll put their website link in the description box if you ever want to visit and get tickets. They took photos of us here and the pictures will be available up in the sky bridge. To get to the bridge, you'll have to take the Gatlinburg Skylift which has been an iconic lift since 1954 and offers great views as you head up Crockett Mountain. I've seen the chairlift in photos but I've never rode one before so this was an awesome experience for me. Here's my mom and dad with my little bro who looks totally unfazed. It was kind of nerve-wracking and I tried not to look down because of the heights but I did anyway. It was too good of a view not to look at. I was scared for my phone though, I'm glad it didn't fall. You too. We were directed to a booth to pay for the printed versions of the photo taken while we were in the chairlift. While waiting, we decided to look around the sky deck to take some pictures, see the view, and unwind. They also had a restaurant and souvenir shop with cute stuff. The view is just beautiful. The breeze felt good, and overall, it was such a nice sunny day. The big Christmas tree is gorgeous, and I love the Christmas decorations they put up. This is the view overlooking the city of Gatlinburg. picked up the photos which turned out great and then headed out. We were really excited to go up and walk on the sky bridge but my mom said she wasn't gonna go because it was too high up so she stayed in the restaurant with my brother. The sky bridge is the longest pedestrian cable bridge in North America stretching 680 feet across a breathtaking valley in the Smoky Mountains. The bridge sits 140 feet above the valley offering sweeping views of the Smokies and the town below. The sky Skybridge has a glass panel covering 30 feet in the middle. It isn't visible in the video, but it was really clear and you could see the height of the bridge. At first, I was stressing out, but I thought it was really cool and I forgot I was even scared in the first place. <laughs> and that's me trying to walk through it. This was the other end of the bridge and they had photo printing booths for the photos we took as a family before we got up the chairlift. They also had the one with a frame and we still have it on display to this day. When we got back top the other end, we walked through the sky trail. 
It is a scenic walkway with three unique sections and a second smaller bridge called the Tulip Tower. The Tulip Tower is a 70-foot steel structure that celebrates the ancient tulip trees native to the Smokies, which are some of the oldest hardwoods in America, living up to 300 years. Each platform of the tower has an amazing view. A fun fact is the tulip tree blooms with stunning tulip-shaped flowers each spring. Here you can see a clear view of the length of the sky bridge. Isn't that crazy? And there's also a lot of information about the tree as you go up the levels, which I thought was a cool way to know about their story. After that, we ate lunch and headed to our next destination. We walked around the area since the next spot was only a walk away and the streets were bustling. There were a lot of shopping areas and restaurants suited for everybody. So our next stop is The Village. This place literally has everything from classic donuts at the donut fryer to quirky socks at the sock shop and even handmade pottery at Alewine Pottery where you can even see potters at work. I saw this on Google Maps and thought the architecture was really beautiful. It's like stepping into an old European village with cobblestone streets. I think it's great that even if the village was established in 1969, it still keeps that vintage vibe, which makes it feel like a timeless escape. Now that I think about it, it's perfect for fall and winter and that sweater weather type of feeling. The next day, our spot was Anakista. Anakista is a mountaintop adventure park with a mix of attractions, from zip lines to peaceful gardens. Anakista is a Cherokee word meaning high ground. I also bought my tickets online for this one to save the trouble, and I'll put the link in the description box below if you plan to go. Unlike the sky bridge, Anakista has options of going up the mountain or going down. Going up or down, you take a chandola. It's a word mixed of chairlift and gondola. You can also take the Ridge Rambler to see the mountains up close. We chose to ride the gondola. It's like a cable car type but can only fit probably 6 people so we fit in really well. The ride was so fun and it was so worth it for the awesome views Anakista has to offer. Anakista has a lot of attractions and I'm excited to go over all of it with you guys. The Smoky Mountains are breathtaking up here, especially with the mist rolling over the trees. It's surreal, almost like stepping into a postcard. The experience is unforgettable. So if you're ever in Tennessee, definitely add Anakista to your list. Trust me, it's one of those places that just sticks with you.
This is Anakistas Vista Gardens, which is botanical gardens filled with seasonal blooms, whimsical art pieces, and beautiful landscaping. Ideal for a peaceful break from the adrenaline pumping attractions. This is Anakistas Tree Canopy Walk, which is a highlight of Anakista. This consists of a series of hanging bridges suspended up to 60 feet above the forest floor, perfect for treetop views and nature shots. This part of the park is called Bird Venture. It is such a cool place, especially for kids and even grown ups. My brother and I saw the adult sized slides and we knew we were gonna try it for sure. And it was so fun. The Treetop Skywalk is this network of suspended bridges that stretches high up in the trees. Every step has a little bounce to it. You feel like you're floating above the forest floor. It's so peaceful, like you're in this secret, elevated world with just the sounds of birds and leaves rustling. And if you're feeling extra brave, and it's summertime, there's even a zip line nearby to take the thrill up a notch. Now we're walking up to Anakistas Vista Plaza. This spot has it all. Cozy fire pits, outdoor seating, and this amazing open air vibe that just makes you want to hang out and take it all in. It's like a little mountain getaway where you can grab some food, sit back, and just be surrounded by these epic landscapes. Then there's Vista Tower. Guys, this is next level. The tower is five stories high, so we're climbing up each level, and with every step, the view just gets better and better. By the time you're at the top, you've got a full 360 view of the Smoky Mountains. You can even see Kentucky and North Carolina on a clear day. It feels like you can see forever. It's honestly breathtaking. One of those views you'll want to remember. Next stop, Smokehouse at Anakista. This place is a must if you love southern barbecue. Inside, the smokehouse has a rustic, laid-back vibe, perfect for just chilling and enjoying some comfort food. Their barbecue is no joke. It's so tender, it practically melts in your mouth. And I gotta say, I love their mac and cheese. The best part? They have outdoor seating, so you can dig into your food with a view of the Smoky Mountains all around. Before we started eating, my family sang happy birthday to me. That video is one of my most cherished moments. I love you guys. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Trisha. Uh, what's your wish? I was just looking at the beautiful view and was shocked when I saw the sky bridge. Isn't that awesome? We're about to try one of the coolest attractions at Anakista, the Rail Runner. This is a single rail mountain coaster. And let me tell you, it's going to be a wild ride. So here's how it works. You sit in this little cart and you're in full control of the brakes. The track twists and turns all around down the mountain. And once you start, it's like you're flying through the trees. The best part, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. But trust me, the faster you go, the more thrilling it gets. You feel every twist and dip. And with the Smoky Mountains 
people around, it's just this rush of pure fun. Honestly, it's such a unique way to experience the mountain. You're right there in the trees, feeling every turn, all while seeing the amazing view. We really enjoyed the seasonal lights Anakista put up and gazing at the Smokies under the stars while we're waiting for our Ridge Rambler ride. Aww, is that sweet? The Ridge Rambler ride is another alternative ride down the mountain if you prefer seeing the mountains up close rather than the high view with the chairlift and gondola. Now that we saw two spots, I think they provided different experiences. Skybridge was definitely for the jaw-dropping views and thrills up in the air, and Anakista for a mix of adventure, nature, and relaxation. It was perfect for showing off both thrilling and laid-back sides of Gatlinburg. When we got down the mountain, we took photos and went to our home for a celebration of Christmas Eve by exchanging gifts. It was really fun. The next day, we visited the Old Mill District located in Pigeon Forge, which is close to Gatlinburg. I saw this awesome place when I was surfing the web. It's got that cozy historical vibe perfect for taking pictures. This historic area is centered around the Old Mill, which dates back to 1830. It's one of the oldest continually operating grist mills in the US, and it was really cool to see it in action. Besides the Old Mill itself, the district has a collection of small shops and boutiques, from candy stores and home goods to a moonshine distillery, which all add to its charming small town feel. We didn't get to see the shop and all because all of them were closed due to the holidays. A fun fact I read about this place was that during the Civil War, the old mill supplied meal and flour to the Union Army, making it a historical landmark beyond just the aesthetic setting. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye!